founded a Nairobi suburb, and later a campus acquired the Malawian name Choromo. The story of Choromo is quite interesting for those who have been to this University of Nairobi campus. It begins when colonial maverick, Hewitt Grogan tossed a coin at Cambridge's Winchester and Jesus College to determine his life and fate. Unfortunately, or fortunately, the coin came down on the side of adventure rather than art. And from that day Grogan, who had been reprimanded for tethering a goat in his campus room, abandoned all pretenses for becoming an artist. He sought adventure as his new career. Choromo is also a story of love, but it starts in 1896 when Grogan volunteered as a soldier during Matabele uprising in modern-day Zimbabwe. Here he was injured. The injury, which almost ended his African adventures, took him to New Zealand where he was to recuperate. It was here that he met Gertrude Watt who was smitten by Grogan's tales of triumph some exaggerated and others fictional. Gertrude's stepfather was not amused. He dismissed Grogan as a useless fortune hunter. But to convince Gertrude and her stepfather that he was serious he decided to stage one last stunt, to walk from Cape to Cairo, hoping in return that Gertrude's father would bless their marriage. For two and a half years, Grogan walked through the African savannah to marry Gertrude. For that, he won many admirers, even in New Zealand. Gertrude was smitten. Grogan was a celebrity. When on his way to Cairo, Grogan passed by Nairobi, which he contemptuously dismissed as a tin shack. It was after his return to South Africa, that Grogan, now a famous adventurer was invited by Cecil Rhodes to settle in Johannesburg. But the South African climate was not favorable for Grogan. He got seriously sick. It was on his hospital bed that he saw an advert calling for settlers to East Africa. It was 1902. Together with Edward Lingham, a Canadian, they came to Kenya where they were shown virgin lands in the Mau escarpment full of timber. Finally, the useless fortune hunter was in town. In Nairobi, he chose the most wooded section of the emerging town. Here, some two rivers met and they reminded him of a village in southern Malawi where he had lost his luggage on his way to Cairo. The village was named Choromo, and thus, he named his new acquisition Choromo. Here, he built himself a house that still stands within the University of Nairobi. He also built Nairobi's Getrude's Hospital. The rest is history.